Shalom. Before I get started with this lesson, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakhak Wadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth and that rule well. And peace and salutation to the elect that's out here laboring in all truth and sincerity. To you, I say Shalom. This is the brother Amoram from Great Millstone, Charlotte, coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakhak Wadash. And in this lesson, you know, I kind of want to land back off the spirit that brother had been going into about, you know, uh, dealing with this uh, this rapper takeoff from the Migos, you know, his uh, his death. And this video from Little Boosie, who was pretty much, you know, uh, mourning. All right. He has a, a sentiment that is being pretty much showcased how really all these rappers, you know, should be feeling because. Hey, you are targets, you know, because he said this. He says that rappers are now being targeted. All right. And I'm going to let you hear the hear uh, the video, what he was saying. But at the end of the day, we understand through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah that these things are happening because the Lord is angry with our people, especially you rappers, because you play a big part in why our people are degenerate like how we see them. So let's hear what he has to say. R.I.P. Takeoff, bro. Uh, shaking my head, man. Humble nigga. Badass music syndicate won't show QC, all the family. We sending some prayers and love for y'all, nigga. All Takeoff family, Quavo, all set, all y'all. Badass music syndicate won't, you know, send their prayers out. You know, uh, His rap shit whack, bro. I ain't lying, bro. We targets now, bro. We used to be heroes, you know? His rap shit whack as fuck, man. His rap shit whack, bro. Everybody want us out of here, bro. R.I.P. Takeoff. All right. So pretty much... You know, like how he was going into, you know, he feels like rappers are targeted. All right. And ultimately, man, the most high has each and every one of you targeted for judgment. All right. Because of what you're doing. All right. The message that you're spreading through your music. All right. So let's go into a few scriptures. All right. I'm going to start here in the book of Colossians chapter three, verse twenty five. It says, but he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he have done. And there is no respect of persons, right? And when you go into these rappers, really, you know, on one hand, yes, un unfortunate, you know, you're seeing, you know, uh, uh, our people going out in a bad light like this. But then when you take the emotions out of it and you apply, you know, logic and then you apply the scriptures to, you know, what's going on. Ultimately, we don't have sympathy for these Jake, man, because you are knowingly making music that you know is destructive unto our uh, to our nation, man. You know, now we know that this is the type of thing that is funded by the Amal but you know, by the Amalekites, you know, the small hats. All right. But at the same time, our people are knowingly going along with this, man, and they're they're making uh, 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 millions of dollars, all right, off of, you know, perpetuating death, adultery, witchcraft, which is, you know, via these drugs, all right, all this, this, you know, sinful, destructive lifestyle that is black culture, that is rap music, all right, this is perpetuated amongst you rappers, so ultimately, you can't feel bad about the judgment that is going out on these rappers because at the end of the day, all right, they're receiving the judgment from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, you know, and this is the energy that they're pushing out. So it's only, you know, it's only right the Lord give them back what they sending out, all right, because your music is destroying, all right, millions of Jake every single day because the lies that you're perpetuating through your music, 
Because, hey, these niggas, all they talk about is, hey, like Kanye said, man, killing niggas, fucking niggas, bitches, all right, selling weed, doing, or selling drugs, doing drugs, all right? And now they're, they're, they've gotten so, you know, uh, off the rail with it, they're openly worshiping Satan in their lyrics, all right? It used to be, you know, subtitled through, you know, certain subliminals in their music videos or certain lines, but now they're straight up saying it now, man, all right? So these, th these, these things that we're seeing, you know, and hearing, all right, this is you paying up exactly what it is that you are, are, are putting out into the world, man, all right? And your lyrics, all right, are pretty much bringing your own downfall, man, all right? Real quick, this is Proverbs 18 and 21. It says, death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. And that's exactly why these rappers are getting knocked off like this, man. All right, you've been hearing, all right, from reports from the different brothers, all right, within, you know, two years, all right, over 450 and more climbing, count two, uh, 2022 rappers have been killed, all right? And guess what? Majority of them, they are dying. They're dying by other Jakes, man. All right. The overwhelming majority of, of rappers death, they got, you know, they got put to death due to, you know, uh, uh, being shot, being stabbed. All right. You know, the stabbing is more probably in the UK, but those are still Jake, you know, as it is. All right. You having a lot of Jake overdose. All right. So these different things are not by coincidence, but this is this is the type of energy you put out because you put out deaf music, all right? How many niggas that you killing? How many how many families you're destroying through your uh through your trapping, all right? How many families you're destroying because you want to go and, and and pop another man's woman, all right? So life and death are in the power of the tongue, all right? And it says the day that love it shall eat the fruit thereof, man. All right? So you're eating the very thing that you're putting out, man, because your how about Shimmy was shy is giving you exactly what you're uh what you're putting out, man. All right. Just to further land back on this point. This is Galatians chapter six, verse seven. Be not deceived, your how about Shimmy was shy is not mocked, right? Because the Lord is seeing everything that you're doing, but then the same in the same breath, the same energy, you'll turn around and and, and you know, act like you're you're uh you're godly, man. All right. You win these different awards at these award shows. You you talking about, you know, you you want to thank God. What God are you talking about, man? Because it's not the God of the Bible that you're thinking, because you know, you rappers fucking know. All right. You know that what you're doing is wicked, man. All right. And you know that you're Israelites, man, because we all know that you celebrities watch the videos, man. All right. This is why you're having so many guys speak up now, man. All right. But at the end of the day, Yahweh by Shimei Awashai is not mocked. It says, Be not deceived, Yahweh by Shimei Awashai is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Right. So you damn right that you targeted, man. All right. Lil Boosie and all you other niggas. Okay. Because look what look 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 at the, the lifestyle, the culture that has been built behind your music. All right. Behind your actions, man. All right, because all these niggas, the Migos, Lil Wayne, Jeezy, uh, 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 Jay Z, Nas, all you niggas rap about killing niggas, drugs, adultery. All right, just to you know off the top, and then you you got the women. All right, these women rappers, they're rapping about you know whore or whoredom. All right, so this 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 hip hop has totally, you know, destroyed our people. And this is why you're you're being served exactly what you're putting out into the world, man. All right? Verse 8, it says, For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. So because you're, you're sowing death unto yourself, all right? Trying to, quote unquote, feed your family. All right, because a lot of you niggas know what you're doing, man. All right? You know that at the end of the day, man, these, these record labels are making you, you know, uh, uh, put this type of music out, knowing it's destroying your culture. And they'll tell you, all right? For brothers, you know, we got brothers that didn't, you know, 
been, you know, uh, in, in rooms with these rappers, you know, in, in, in areas with these rappers, and they didn't told them this shit, man. I personally know a, a, a person that was approached by one of these uh, uh, profound rap niggas in the game, man. And he pretty much had told told dude was like, man, you know, he wanted him to to pretty much change his whole image so that he can further perpetuate this bullshit that's out now. And he and hey, one thing I say about you know dude, he had integrity, all right. And so he he you know he pretty much you know denied the the deal. He said he didn't want he didn't want to sign the record the record deal because he felt like that was you know. That wasn't what uh, the Most High wanted him to do, all right? And then we'll make it funny. Now he's a Christian rapper. <laughs> but at the end of the day, man, this just further shows you that these, these so quote-unquote gatekeepers, all right, these rappers, they are, they are knowingly pushing forth death. And this is why the Most High is rewarding these niggas like this, man. Look at the amount of high-profile rappers that have died within the last two, three years, man, all right? That's not by coincidence, man. And then as we're getting, you know, into this year, hey, the killings are getting more gruesome and they're, they're being made public for all to see. OK. So finish it out. This is uh, Galatians six and eight for he that uh, he that sold to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that sold to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life after everlasting. All right. And this is why hey, these rappers are going out bad like this, man, because they reap death unto themselves. So corruption is being, you know, uh, uh, they're sown corruption. So corruption is being, you know, uh, uh, given unto them, man. That death is being uh, given unto them. And the most is not hearing this music. All right. He's not he's not with it because, like I said, man, these, these songs are, are nothing more than enchantments that are being used to, to stir the minds of our people into into sin, man. All right. This is why the Most High is not dealing with with rappers. All right. This is Amos five and twenty three. It says, "Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy vows." Right. Because hey, the Most High doesn't. He, he's not pleased with the music that is being put out right here, man. And ultimately, even with you know Jake that is trying to put truth in his music, man. This this isn't our kingdom because even with the, the music, you know, that, that's being pushed out, man, it's still being pushed on a wicked vibration, all right? So the Most High does not want to hear, you know, Israelites, quote-unquote, you know, rapping truth music, <laughs> all right? He, the Lord doesn't want to hear any of this bullshit, man, because like the apostles always say, if the Lord wanted the truth to be pushed through music, all right, then, the, then he would have the high-profile dudes, like Jay Z, Nas, and so and so, all right, rapping. But see, the word is not meant to be pushed like that, man. All right, and like I said, man, ultimately, man, these these guys that are, are prominent in the rap game, they're being knocked off because the Lord is having you pay for the the the, the wickedness that you're that you're spewing out on your songs, man. All right, and you got these uh these you know fellow celebrities that are upset, they're mourning. But hey, where where is the where is the outrage for these these niggas that's perpetuating this shit, man? All right, you you old heads of, uh, of the rap game, all right. Why aren't you putting forth this same energy to these younger generation of rappers and telling them to stop, you know, making music about killing, stop, you know, waving guns in the in the music videos, to stop, you know, destroying our people. But see, they're all in Esau's pocket, all right? So hey, the 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 shock the shock value of the deaths of these of these niggas, all right, is it's gonna be for a moment and then it's gonna be right back to the bullshit. So guys like Lil Boosie, all right. R I P take off, bro. Uh, hey, all the guys that that's you know sick about what's happening to these different rappers, man, you were one of the source of the problems because hey Lil Boosie has demonic ass music. I remember growing up, man, this nigga, hey, him personally, I didn't really listen to him like that, but this nigga had demonic ass music, man. All right. Hey, Migos rap about, you know, uh, nigga shit. All, which, don't get me wrong, you know, we're in the world, so we we listen to this type of stuff, you know, here and there, but at the end of the day, we know that this shit is wicked. All right. So our spirit is not, you know, into this shit. 
like the rest of the world is, man. And this is why when these niggas get knocked off like this, you know, we don't, we don't, you know, shed no tears. We're not, you know, at the, like I said, and initially when you first hear about it, yeah, it's like, damn. But then when you, when you take the emotion out of it, you understand this is the judgment of the Lord, man. All right. So this is why the most I told us, Jeremiah 11 and 14, therefore pray not for thou this people, it's like you, therefore pray not thou for this people, neither lift up a cry of prayer for them. For I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. Right. Because the, mo the most high was nowhere in their thoughts. All right. When they were on top. All right. Hey, take off one thing about your how about Shimei was shy when that was at that uh, at that bowling alley shooting craps, man. All right. That nigga was in there firing up a blunt, with, uh, you know, with the shits, man. All right. He was in the mix. All right. The nigga just put out. They just put out a new album. All right, they're enjoying, you know, the royalties from that. They don't. They don't have a care about your how about Shimmy I was shot. So when, and when the Lord bring judgment upon them, and we're not to, you know, have a care about them. All right, because the Lord is only only here, you know, uh, for the elect. All right, a two thirds will, you know, once they are put out of their misery, they're back in the spirit world in their right mind and, and crying out to the Lord to bring, you know, an end to this wicked kingdom. But until then. All right. We're not to we're not to mourn these niggas, man, because that's they're getting their just dues due to the wickedness that they've done, man. All right. Because these niggas aren't aren't uh, condemning their fellow peers for the bullshit that they're they're pushing forth, man. All right. Isaiah five and 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil that put darkness for light and light for darkness that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Right. Because if these if these people truly cared about these rappers, man, hey, they they will come together and put an end to this demonic, destructive ass music. But they're not gonna do that, man. Because they they care more about their fame and their money more than the, the state of our people. And this is why hey, Kanye, which Kanye is a he's another one. He he's a sellout. All right, he took the bag, the oath. But hey, at least he's speaking up. And bringing this to light to where that the conversation can be, you know, can be used as a talking point to, to shed light on what's wrong with black culture, man. All right. And you rappers that that's, you know, assisting into the problem, man. The most is going to destroy you because at the end of the day, you're not going to get away from your judgment. All right. Second Corinthians five and ten. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad, right? Because we all going to have to, you know, take account for what we've done in this flesh and in past lives, man, all right? And so these guys that's getting whacked like this, man, all right? We, we you know, we understand that that was judgment, and we're all going to have to, you know, you know, come to the throne and, and receive our judgment. But Lord willing, we receive a righteous judgment, all right? This is why the works that we're sending forth, man, are, are, are works of righteousness, Lord willing, to be found acceptable to the Lord so that we can get, you know, delivered, man. Because, hey, it's only going, you're only going to see more of these things, man. It's going to get worse and worse and worse because we're in the time of Yahweh by Shimei was shy judging the wicked, man. All right. And two thirds of the nation of Israel, all right, they got to be put out their misery because of their wickedness, man. All right. I'm going to end with this. This is Wisdom of Solomon 319. For horrible is the end of the unrighteous generation, all right? Hey, and, and take off, hey, his, you know, his his ascendance to the spirit world, hey, that was a, a, a horrible way to go, all right? That nigga got his his uh, his shit pit belt, uh, pilt back, man, all right? Hey, you, if you, for, for those that seen the video, they tried to pick, they tried to pick bro up, man, and his fucking head spilled out, man, all right? And that's only going, you know, that's only the beginning of what you're going to see the Lord do to these dudes, man. All right. This is why we're living in, in scary times and it's needful for you to repent, man. All right. So I'm going to close it right here. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the, to the elect. I'm going to give all honor, praise, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me the truth and that rule well. And peace and salutation to the elect. Until next time, I say Shalom.